assalamu alaikum friends and welcome back to our channel this is the fourth video of our origin pro tutorial series in this video i am going to give you the final touch and export this diagram uh, figure or graph plot to the ms document or powerpoint so let's simply start from this plot because everything looks fine so when you click on this uh, it will show you that you already selected and you can do some changes from this bar let me try again when you click outside so all the icons here the functions inactivate when i click this so you can do the changes from here as well but you cannot do all the changes you want so this is why i have to click double to open a window new window for me so in this window there are three tabs one is the pattern one is the staking one is the label i will work thoroughly on these three to make it simple so let's start from under the pattern there are one border one is fill so the border color is red so let me make it uh, black so we can see now you can see and this is the width so if you make it la greater four so you will see the difference now if you want to change into various style so you can change very nicely but i recommend you to keep this one and make this dash whatever i, I by myself i like solid uh, it's up to you uh, let's keep it dash dash this question will look nice this one are right now let's come to the fill so by default the the fill is red if you want to make it blue so it will become blue very easy let's keep it red by default and this is the pattern the pattern means that if you want to draw lines on this plot on these plots a very step so by default it is pattern none if i keep this one dense put this so you will see yeah so the, the this color i put yellow so if you want to change to this one so look nicely and let me increase the, the line size so it uh, looks very nicely now or uh, if you want this dense yeah it also looks very nice now so this is uh, how you change the uh, pattern color and the line size and style etc and another option is transparency so they say if you want transparency or not transparency so this is the another option so let's now go to spacing spacing means that between these two bars there is a 20 percent space now by default if you increase this to 40 let's see the effect now you see the 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 the, the spaces are increased if you further increase to 60 further but i think 20 is fine here because we don't have large number of bars here so 20 is fine come to the label so the label means that all the functions are inactivated here because they, they give us the the, the the box an option enable so when you click this now all the things become mm, active so just simply apply now so you you see they will see the labels will show us this label means that in 2014 we have 18 publications in 2015 we have february in 2016 we have 88 publication or number of document your you card so you can also change the um, the color all the thing from here and i will make this bold it was already bold and if you increase the size make it 26 it looks better but, but i think i will make the color blue and this is the rotation if you want to rotate the these labels so just write and apply you see 
can rotate it, we can make it vertical or horizontal. And this X offset and Y offset means that if you do not like your label at this position, so you can move this. You see? And I think if you write minus 50, so it will take you to other side. <laughs> Very nicely. Minus 50. And similarly, for Y axis, for example, if you do not like uh, in this position, so if you want to, uh, it will be a little bit above from the bar, so you just write. You see? This is a so I just put zero. So that's all, and I need to click OK now. Guys, this was all about mm, this uh, plot diagram. Now, our diagram is very decorated, and this is the final uh, one. And I have to export it. So for that, for example, I want to take it to the uh, image document. So yes, there are many ways, but I will do the simple one. You just need to press Control and J. It will copy this and come to the document and just paste it here. Control V. You see, guys. So if you want to uh, crop it, so you can do just right click and crop. I think I will a little bit increase the size. Yeah, that's all. So thank you very much. Everything done now. And uh, later, if you want to change the the axis or color or whatever, you can do it. So thank you very much for the watching. And uh, if you like this video and enjoy it, so please do not forget to like and subscribe our channel. Thank you very very much.